July 26, 1977. 200 years ago today, nothing happened. I'm Houlihan, and that's the way it was. <laughs> hey, but we have a lot happening tonight for you. I'll tell you, Pilgrim, our movie, The Invisible Ray, with Boris and Blilla. Yeah, hey, and tonight is our very first all-oldies night. Things that we did many years ago brought back for one last fling. Many years ago. <laughs> it won't be easy for us to sit here and look at ourselves with those silly haircuts on. <laughs> tonight, an old Kabasi kid. We got Ben Crazy, Kung Fuski, and some real oldies, including an old Parma Place episode, huh? Yeah. We're gonna bring back some memories tonight. Stick around. Yeah, hey, let's get things started with a big laugh, Bob. Uh, Daryl McGraw asked me, what does a certain ethnic man look like hitchhiking in the rain? A certain ethnic man hitchhiking in the rain. Will you get off? That's the big laugh. <laughs> I, I'm glad you explained. Hey, remember the old Dragnet series? You know how they, they underplayed the acting, overdid the sound effects. Our version fell under the category of so bad, it's good. Watch. The case you are about to see is true. Only the aliases have been changed to protect the guilty. It was Saturday at 11.45 and 30, no, make that 31 seconds p.m. My partner Bill Gunn and I were hard at work on a big case. I'm Joe Monday. I'm a cop. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Sure is a big case. Hey, Joe? Yeah? You know something? What's that? I'm hungry. Bill never gets hungry except when it's lunchtime. I looked at my watch. The big hand was on the nine, and the little hand was on the seven. The teeny skinny hand was on the three. But it stopped. I asked Bill what time it was. It was 11.59. We synchronized our watches, and at exactly 12 noon, we went out to lunch. Exactly 12.05 and 30 seconds when my partner, Bill, and I arrived at Tiny Tim's Beef Snack. One of the patrolmen from our district was in there having lunch. We said, hello. I noticed something suspicious about our waitress. She had beady eyes. There certainly was something familiar about the waitress. She brought us our hamburgers. I like mine with mustard. You're getting mustard all over my face. Sorry. My partner, Bill, seemed worried about the waitress. He asked me if we could arrest her on suspicion. I said, why not? All right, ma'am, you're under arrest. Just want the facts, ma'am. 
You can't arrest me. What's the charge? Cop resisting arrest. Wait a minute. I forgot something very important. My tip. Instead of serving Hammett Burgers at Tiny Tim's Beef Snack, Slimy Spade is now serving 10 to 20 years at Sing Song for resisting arrest. Another victory for Joe Monday. with Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. Hey, come on in. What's up? I got some sad news here about my rich Uncle Stanley. Oh. He's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do you mean you're going to watch Johnny Carson? Yeah. If, if Carson had this material, he'd be here too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Folks, I got to be honest with you. We're going to show a Parma Place episode. <laughs> I, that I didn't, I didn't want to show, but Hooli and the crew talked me into it. I look so bad and so dumb in this that this is highly embarrassing. It's very good. Roll it, please. <laughs> Janet had just discovered a secret hidden microphone and a hole in the wall. What is the meaning of this new development? You suppose he's still there? Oh, I'm afraid to look, John. You, you check. Okay. Well? He's gone. Gone? Gone. Oh, Bob what's yeah. that? Bob, yeah. uh, I, I'll answer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hello, Jerry Kriegel. Oh, hello. Handsome downstairs neighbor, Jerry Kriegel. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, Mr. Kriegel. Oh, well, uh... Oh, uh... Yeah, we, I just... <laughs> Stop by the gourmet shop and I brought you some cheese whiz. I thought you might like to have oh. some with while you watch our program tonight. Oh, you. Oh, how thoughtful. <laughs> Janet, he brought from the Parma gourmet shop. He yes. brought some cheese whiz for us. <laughs> oh, well, you, you. Isn't that nice, very huh? Very nice, dear. <laughs> Certainly is. He's a. You know, you're a you're a good luck. Yeah, well, huh? it's coming on any minute. I'll see you. Yeah, we want to watch it Bye. too. Thanks for dropping by. Hi, dear. Say, you know. What? I'm still worried about that hole. Well, why don't you cover it up with something? Yes. Look, that'll cook his goose. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi again, uh, uh, Jerry. You big lug, yeah? <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. My TV set's broke. Your TV set's yeah. broke. You care if I watch a program here with you? Gee tonight? whiz, no. Oh, you just come. You sit right down here. <laughs> Handsome debonair downstairs neighbor Jerry Kriegel. You just sit right there. I'll I'll I'll, I'll turn the set on. It's about to about to start. Don't don't like to miss the opening of these. Oh, that's the best part. Good evening, uh, good evening, and uh, welcome uh, to all our friends in uh, Tel Aviv. Television land, uh, and a special hello tonight uh, to all our friends in the uh, Parm. Hey, he got my letter. Oh, he oh, got huh? your letter. Yeah. Did oh. you send a, Oh, this is going to be a great show. To, <laughs> yeah. It sure is. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Krieg, yeah. uh, do me a favor. Will you tune her in? I know you can do that. Uh, you're good at that. It's just see if we can't get a little better picture there. She's just a little off. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it, Greg Jarrett. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot better, Krieg. Thanks, Krieger. He's too much, ain't he? <laughs> He's funny. What a band. 
Listen, uh, darling. Uh, yes, dear. Uh, would you do me a favor? Would you get me some crackers, please? Oh, certainly. So we dear. can have some of the cheese whiz. Cheese whiz, right? Yeah, get a few crackers. Say, listen. You know, I heard. I heard from the kidnapper. Um, oh yeah. Jerry, yeah. And he wants eight thousand sawada. That's a lot of capusta. Oh man. Here we are. You don't care for any, do you, dear? Yeah, Help yourself, Mr. Creek. No, I. <laughs> thank you. Jeez. I shouldn't eat before I go to work anyway. Uh, that's a little, not loud enough, man. Not, not loud enough? No. Jer? How's that? Yeah, that's good, you know, I'm done. Yeah, that's too loud. Yeah, yeah, it's a little too loud. I got the neighbors you won't believe. There. Hey, you know, when you get that polka and we get to stomp on our feet, them folks downstairs, they really have a hard time. They do a lot of rapping on the floor. Are you comfortable, hey. dear? Yeah. I can't hear it now. <clears throat> oh, I can't hear it either. There, I'll go Oh, up. that's better. Ha, ha, ha! Hey, you got some cheap whiz on your pants there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, gee. There, let me get it. That, uh -huh. that doesn't come off. Oh, yeah, no. That's hard to get off, that oh, stuff. Okay. The guys will laugh at me. I have to tell them where I got... Jeez, whiz. Ah, that's Gee, good. whiz. That's got it. Gee. Well, listen, I gotta... I gotta go to work anyway. Are you working tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm down uh, gonna... Lake. Yeah, gonna take the muck out of the lake down there tonight. Oh, yeah. man, you better get your gotchis on tonight. Mm, why? Oh, it's colder than a well digger's wook at you out there. <laughs> oh, it's that bad? Oh, it's tough. Yeah, well, listen, uh... See you, Joe. Yeah. Bye, Janet. Bye, darling. Yeah. So long, you big lug. So long, Joe. Listen, uh... Let me know if he plays Hey Gora Mora Gora. Oh, 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 I think he will. I sure hope. Joe. Yeah. Bye, John. So long, you two. See you, John. Come on, no more. Come on. No, please. Oh, no. Keep it Enough. Keep it yeah. Get off. Come on. Lynn, Come on. Lynn, if you love me, you'll stop. Come on, Lynn. Please. Come back, Lynn. Come on. <laughs> They look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us now while we, we pay the rent. Teachers, witches, right? Four, four, three, one, four, four. Go to black, go to black. <laughs> Bartender, do you have anything for the hiccups? Oh, sure. There, how's that? Wait, I'll go see. My wife has them. She's out in the car. <laughs> oh, uh, the invisible ray about half over. And as you can tell by our music tonight, it is our very first oldies night. Yes, and true. very probably our last. <laughs> yeah. You've heard of Dick Goddard's Bowling for Dollars. Yes. Well, this show is Bombing for Dollars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be ashamed to take my check for this show, but... Well, well, well not, not that ashamed. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you, uh, if you like oldies that, uh, well, you, you just ain't seen nothing yet. What's that funny sound? That's the sound of thousands of channels changing, Bob. Oh, no, God. come over here, Bob, and look on this, what Carl Newman of Cuyahoga Falls sends in. Yes. What do you, what do, do these two drawings mean? <laughs> but this one first, Hank. Sure can. What do these two drawings mean? I give well, up Well, see, this one is a... Crocus. I <laughs> swear, crow. And that one over there, what was that? <laughs> that is uh, Hyde and Zeke. Yeah! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Come back! Don't go! We're gonna get better! You wanna bet? <laughs> Watch this!
with Boris and Bela. Good old movie for you this week. Speaking of old things. Oh, no, he doesn't mean me. He means our skits. See, this is oldies night. <laughs> Speak for yourself, yes. John. Okay, Bob, Carl Newman strikes again. What would you say this is? I give up. That is a long letter from home. <laughs> And over here? Or? So? What is that? I don't know. That's what you call the good housekeeping seal. Will you get <laughs> off? Oh. oh, hey, we have to get right into this next bit because it's not, it's not all that funny, but it's long. Yeah. Yes, here's Kung Fu. Shy Lion Monastery. Boys of this country, China, are chosen to be taught the ways of truth and the meaning of peace and life and Kung Fu. Come in. Ah, oh, little weed jumper. What can I do for you? That's Grasshopper, Master. Master, I have been here for 28 years. When may I leave? Very well, my boy. When you can snatch this little pebble from my hand, you may leave. Oh, 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 well done, little pot liquor. That's grasshopper, master. You have studied well here, but it's time for you to leave. Now, take this pebble to the exchange center and exchange it for your hat and clothing that you once came here with, and you may leave. Then where might that be, oh great master, oh, leader yes. of men? Oh, yes. I'll tell you where to go. Now, yeah, you see, you see. And just pass the bathroom, and, and, and you can't miss it. Uh, you, you by, see right down there? Uh -huh. By the ladies, John. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not here in the Shiline Monastery. We have only men, John. Yeah. <laughs> I have a pebble. I am to leave. Okay, Mac. Here's your coat or your hat. Here's your coat. And here's your knapsack. And you'll find the flute inside. Thank you. <laughs> they call the frivolous cell a peculiar sort of a girl. La 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 Hey, you from old country? <laughs> Please, I have traveled many miles. I am in need of sustenance. Please, might I have some food? Ah, sure. How about uh, today's special? <laughs> I don't like it. Chinamans in my bar. Uh, please, might I just have some water to quench my thirst? Ah, uh, all right. Yeah. Hey, Chinaman! Please, can I sit here and rest my feet? I am very weary. Oh, uh, well, we got an Armenian wedding reception here about an hour, so make it quick, all right? Chinaman, you bother me. Oh, oh. Get out of here before I kill you. Oh, oh. What's wrong? Oh, I, 
I think I'm getting a flashback. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I hear, ah, yes, it is my little nose sticker. That's Grasshopper, Master. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Master, I am perplexed. Yes? Yeah. When an adversary confronts, Master, I'm over here. Oh, yes, oh. <laughs> you are, old boy. When an adversary confronts one with danger, should one rebel, stay, or should one walk away in silence? Oh, oh. Little grass cutter, that's a very hard, difficult problem you pose. Let me answer your question by responding to what you have asked. The river is widest where it is deepest. The air is freshest after spring rain. And the flower only grows where there is sun. Not only that, <laughs> but that is the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But Master, what does all this mean? Oh, dear, it simply means, old boy, that you're as tricky if you don't beat the snack out of them. Oh, now I must go. <laughs> I warned you, Chinaman. Oh. I'm gonna tear off your nose. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, I seek only peace.